Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Today we are going to discuss about resultant vector. So you know vectors, a vector is that quantity which have both magnitude and direction. For example, we have here two vectors. This is vector A and this is vector B. We have to find a resultant vector. A resultant vector is that vector which produces the same effect which produces the same effect as produced by individual vectors together as produced by individual vectors together for example if two forces are acting on a block this force f1 and this force f2 they are acting on block so now these two forces will produce the effect on the block. So the resultant vector capital F yeah, R that will be F1 plus F2. So the two force, some of the two forces which will produce the same effect as produced by the individual vector. That's called a resultant vector. A vector is said to be, be a resultant vector if it produces the same effect as produced by the number of vectors on an object so now we have two vectors now today how to find the resultant vector our concept how to find the resultant vector for example we have two vectors a and b let's suppose we have vector c we have vector c so there is general rule for finding the resultant vector general rule for this this general rule it is acceptable everywhere this general rule, ye jo general rule hum discuss, yehi hume har jaga use hota hai. Chahe wo triangle la ho, chahe wo parallelogram la ho, wahan par bhi, they also follow the general rule of vector addition. To general rule kya hai? Now we have three vectors, we have three vectors A, B and C. Now, first draw a vector A. Join the tail of B with the head of A. They are in same direction. If they are in opposite direction, then you have to follow, also follow the same. Join the tail of B with the head of A. Now this is vector B. This is vector B. Now join the tail of C with the head of B. This is C. Now a single vector drawn from tail of first vector to the head of last vector. A single vector drawn from tail of first vector to the head of last vector is the resultant vector. It is A plus A plus B plus C. This is the resultant vector. So what you have to, uh, you have when you are going to follow the general rule, you have to join the tail of one vector with the head of another vector. Tail of first vector with the head of second vector. Uh, tail of uh, third vector with the head of second vector and tail of fourth vector with the head of third vector then a single vector drawn from tail of first vector to the head of last vector gives the resultant vector geometrically now for example how, how when it is for example we have two vectors this is vector a and this is vector b this is vector b so we have to find the here we have to find a resultant of two vectors here also we have to find the resultant which are not um, collinear vectors they are not acting along same line or so here this is here it also follows the um, general rule of vector now draw first vector a here you draw the first vector a and then join the tail of b with the head of a this is tail of b with the head then a single vector drawn from tail of first to the head of last vector this vector this is the result or is equal a plus b and this this is what we state in triangle of vector addition. If two vectors are in uh, two vectors A and B, they are represented by two sides of triangle taken in same order. Tail of first, uh, second is connected to head of first. Two vectors are said to be same in order if tail of first, second is connected to head of first. So A and B are here, they have the same order. Then a vector drawn from tail of first vector to the head of last vector. This is opposite order, this is the resultant. So, but here we general law of addition of vectors, general rule for finding the resultant vector. 
तो यहाँ पर क्या होगा दिस टेल ऑफ बी वैक्टर बी इज कनेक्टेड टू हेड ऑफ वैक्टर एन सिंगल वैक्टर ड्रॉन फ्रॉम टेल ऑफ फर्स्ट टू दैड ऑफ लॉस्ट इट विल गिव द रिजल्ट वैक्टर सो जनरल रूल ऑल्सो फॉलो द रिजल्ट वैक्टर law of result and vector so for example you have to, now here you have vector c it is along this direction this c is along this this is a vector c this is along opposite direction so you have to, this will also follow the general law of vector addition now it will follow for example two vectors now join the tail of this is vector a so this is vector b tail of b a tail of uh, b is connected to head of a now this is a plus b now we have to this is minus c actually this is minus c because this is in opposite direction so draw a vector join tail of c with the head of so tail of c lekin direction change nahi karni hai direction ulti direction isi direction this is c yahan par humne tail of c rakha aur ye aayega yahan se lekar yahan tak yahan tak to this is minus c vector this is a this is b this was vector b and this is minus c so then now the resultant vector jo left baaki jo reh gaya humne pehle a ko draw kiya yahan tak fir humne b ko yahan tak draw kiya fir humne c ko ulta aise laga diya c ko c ko aise laga diya ye yahan tak aaya to baaki jo vector reh gaya wo a se yahan tak reh gaya yani ye wala vector reh gaya ye itna vector this is the resultant vector Now, now this is a plus b plus minus c or in other words this is r is equal to a plus b minus c so this is the resultant vector so whether it is subtraction whether it is they also it also it always follow the general law of vector addition general law for finding the resultant of a vector that is put the um, first vector and join the tail of second vector with the head of first vector join the tail of third vector with the head of second vector then a single vector drawn from head of first vector to the tail of last vector here last vector is c so tail of first vector to the head of last vector that is the resultant vector so now this was about geometrically how we form how we how we form a resultant vector now how to find the magnitude of resultant now question is how if we have two vectors two vectors this is vector a and this is vector b now you have to find the resultant of two vectors you know in resultant of two vectors it is the third vector when two vectors combine together they form a third vector so it is either given by the triangle law triangle law mein hum jab resultant nikalte hain to that that resultant that is given by the ट्रायंगल आप वो आगे जाके हम डिस्कस करेंगे लेकिन आपको याद रखना है कि रिजल्टेंट वेक्टर इन दो का इन दो का रिजल्टेंट जो होगा फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज दिस इज द वेक्टर ए दिस इज वेक्टर बी सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिजल्टेंट वेक्टर दिस विल वी विल पुट दिस हियर सो दिस इज द रिजल्टेंट वेक्टर और ड्रॉ और इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी नाउ हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ रिजल्टेंट सो मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ रिजल्टेंट वेक्टर और दैट इज गिवन बाय under root of a square plus b square plus 2 ab cos of theta but all magnitude this is magnitude of a square magnitude of b square plus magnitude of a magnitude of b cos of theta where theta is the small angle between a and b cos of theta bas samajh mein so now here we have let's suppose we have two vectors this can be done by the by using the triangle law vector for example we have two vectors this is a this is b we can prove this later on we can prove this for example now you have a vector of magnitude this is pi a magnitude of pi this is if magnitude of a is equal to 3 and magnitude of b is equal to 4 then you are supposed to find the uh, find the resultant vector magnitude of b is equal to 4 You are, you are, and they are at the angle of. Let's suppose, or oh, they are at the angle of thirty uh, degree. They are at the angle of thirty degree. So theta is thirty. What will be the result? So here, so R is equal to under root of what's a square? Magnitude of a is three square plus four square plus two into three into four cos of thirty. Cos thirty. Z 
जीरो वन जीरो ये हो गया जीरो डिग्री ये हो गया थर्टी डिग्री ये हो गया फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ये हो गया सिक्सटी डिग्री हो गया नाइन्टी डिग्री तो कॉस में आता है जीरो वन टू थ्री अंडर रूट थ्री बाई टू तो कॉस थर्टी आएगा अंडर रूट थ्री बाई टू तो आर विल बी इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ नाइन स्क्वायर नाइन प्लस सिक्सटीन प्लस टू थ्री जार टू थ्री जार सिक्स सिक्स फोर जार ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू अंडर रूट थ्री बाई टू टू ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व अंडर रूट थ्री तो और विल बी इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस माइनस ट्वेल्व अंडर रूट थ्री this is the magnitude of resultant this is the magnitude of resultant vector this is how to find the magnitude of resultant vector so what is a resultant vector a vector which produces the same effect as produced by the two individual vectors two or more individual vectors together is when when uh, you know vector has sometimes vector when vector has also components Sometimes you are suppose you have you are you have a vector p i plus two g, and then you have a vector b b is equal to four i minus j minus j. Now you are supposed to find the resultant. You know resultant is a plus b resultant vector c r is equal to resultant vector r is equal to vector a plus vector b. Then here. R is equal to vector a three i plus two j plus four i minus j. That is R is equal to three plus four हो गया seven i two minus j हो गया plus j. This is the resultant vector. Here yeah, this is result. So when you are supposed to find the magnitude of resultant vector, then it is square of function because i is perpendicular to j. J cos theta will be cos ninety cos ninety will be zero so result magnitude of resultant vector will be equal to under root of seven square plus one square so magnitude of resultant vector will be equal to forty nine plus one magnitude of resultant vector will be equal to under root of fifty this is how to calculate the resultant vector when a vector is given in terms of component. This is when a vector is given in terms of component. So this was about the resultant vector. Thank you. This for questions we are going to or triangle or parallel will be will be this. Thank you.